Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D Printing, and today I'm going to be reviewing some of Sunlu's PLA Plus Blue Filament. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back, and um, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing some of this new PLA Plus uh, Filament from Sunlu. Now these guys uh, are a very nice company. I've been in contact for with them for about two weeks now and um, they definitely have more than just filament and different uh, 3D printing things. They also have 3D printing pens and little um, sample filaments of that. They have a whole bunch of different kinds of filament like carbon fiber, TPU, all that kind of stuff and then they sell different things that don't even have to do with 3D printing like um, for an example they have this defroster um, plate thing. So definitely go check them out. I will leave their link in the description below. These guys are based on Amazon. Um, again they are a very kind company and so they hooked me up with some of this cool filament. Um, so let's check it out. So first looking at the box, honestly this is probably the coolest 3D printing filament box I've ever seen. Um, it just looks all really nice it's nice and green it kind of actually has a texture to it on the back it lists all of their filament their PLA PLA plus ABS um, uh, hips PETG wood flexible PVA PA PC PCL and color changing PLA um, it gives you all of their information down here on the bottom and then it says keep dry keep away from heat unless again you're printing it also has their QR code for their Facebook account. The filament diameters that they uh, sell are 1.75, 2.85 millimeter filament, and 3 millimeter filament. So just um, the average filament sizes. And um, yeah, so uh, the front, this is what the front looks like. It just says 3D printing filament. Um, gold award winning 3D printing filament field. Uh, again, their cool little logo up here. So. Um, they also have a little scanner thing here. I'm pretty sure that's just for them to know uh, if they're in stock or out of stock of this filament. So the filament box opens up here and you just uh, simply pull it out. It comes with this uh, little pamphlet thing here. Not really sure what this is. Um, I guess it just tells you what kind of pens they have. Over here, 3D printing pens. Maybe I'll be able to review one of those. I only have one 3D printing pen which is my uh, 3D Simo that I got about two years ago or something. Um, but yeah, so this is their blue PLA Plus, and this is supposed to be super strong filament. So I'm actually reading on here, it says, um, it's 3D printer filament, PLA Plus filament, and this is their sky blue color. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just a 750 gram spool. It does not say that on here. Um, there's just one sticker here that says PLA Plus, with another scanning sticker. And then it says blue, and I really do already love this color. Um, it looks super cool, and their spools already look awesome. They look like the uh, normal cheap filament spools, but these actually are a little different. Um, they have more openings, and then there's two sides of um, where you can put your, your filament in when you're done like this. Uh, but yeah, so let's crack this open. It looks like it is not a um, Ziploc bag. So just rip it open. Um, it comes with a giant desiccant pack in the middle. And then I believe there might be a sticker or something. So there's desiccant pack and then it says um, qualified certificate something. Just It's not a sticker but it's some kind of thing. Um, but this, I can already tell this is probably going to be one of my favorite uh, printing colors. It is a nice like matte. It, it feels matte. It smells kind of like a strong plastic, kind of like uh, the desiccant pack smell like. It's a weird smell, but um, as you can see, this wounding is actually perfect. There's, It's not wobbly at all. It is all straight. Um, the spool looks like uh, just a normal um, click-in spool and kind of like glue. Maybe they super glued it or something. Uh, but yeah, this filament actually is super nice. The spool thickness, as you can see here, that's kind of thick. And again, I believe this is only a 750 gram spool. I'm not sure, it might be a, um, one kilogram. Just by the look of it, it kind of looks like a 750 gram. Um, but yeah, so um, I, I'm really excited to review this for you guys and hopefully in the future I will review some of more Sunlu's uh, filament, not just their PLA, but uh, yeah. So let's go hop over onto the printers and start printing with this cool filament. All right guys, welcome back. Um, I have printed just a couple things with this um, awesome filament. It actually turned out really amazing and I uh, basically just printed this filament on my TiVo Flash just because I had it loaded on there and 
um, that flash has been printing very, very nicely. So I just um, figured I'd just print all the prints on there. So starting off with the first print I printed was another um, bionic prosthetic hand. Now this one actually isn't for a um, kid in need. This is actually for one of my friends or a couple of our friends kids um, and they actually tried out these hands. They have their full hands uh, but they thought they were really cool so they wanted to wear one of these bionic hands for um, Halloween for a Halloween costume. So um, I asked them what colors they wanted and um, this color was perfect for what they chose and um, yeah so these prints turned out really amazing. Um, I'll show you in the close-up but uh, this filament is very like a shiny. It's kind of like a silk um, filament but kind of not. It's just got a really beautiful blue to it. And I also printed um, just these two little things. Now this is also for my bionic uh, prosthetic hand stuff. So these are just, it's just a little drawer stuff. There's um, five drawers in here so I'll put in all my elastics and all my extra um, pins and fingers and stuff in these drawers. So uh, yeah, and then I also printed my Maker Coin. So I didn't print a whole lot with the filament, but the reason because of that is because it went down great. The first prints turned out awesome. I did a Maker Coin, which turned out great the first print. So there was really no struggle with this filament. Um, so already I really do recommend this, and it's super cheap. It's about thirteen dollars, fifteen dollars, something like that. Now this is their PLA Plus, but I do expect that uh, Sun Lose all their filament is great um, it is at a very nice price and it's just easy really easy to print so um, let's just check these things out up close alright so first we'll check out this cool little hand so this is printed all in separate pieces this was printed by itself this was well actually I had a whole this was a super long print it was like 11 hours because I printed all of these except for the gullet and the other white stuff um, all by itself and it was a 10 hour print, but everything turned out great. It stuck amazingly to the TiVo flash bed. Um, the new supports that they put in here actually look way nicer than the other ones. This printed flat and I heated it up with a heat gun and um, then I bent it and made it shape like this. And it all worked, nothing was destroyed in the heat gun. Um, all the fingers again went down great. There was no peeling, this stuck very nice. There was no bad layer adhesion or anything. This print honestly just turned out perfect. Then we just have our little drawer. So this um, base of the drawer just um, printed like this. And then the normal drawer, I'm still printing a couple more of these because I gotta fill in the rest. But honestly, all these little things, the overhangs on here, did great for being really tiny. Um, the bottom again stuck very nicely. And these walls look nice and shiny. Like I said, it's kind of a silk filament but um, this color is just very beautiful. And checking out the drawer, it looks really nice. The sides are all nice and smooth. Um, the bottom layer, there, it was a little funky, uh, but it went down great and everything, this little tab is nice. And overall, this filament is just pretty amazing. So checking out our Maker Coin, again, this is always my first print I print. And as you see on this light, it is very silky smooth, um, all these corners and round offs here are great. The bottom layer went down pretty fine. Um, I had a little hard time removing the support from this little part here which is always because it is such a small maker coin um, and the sides it was a little weird um, there's like a gap here uh, where the support was but overall this filament is really amazing and I definitely 100% recommend this. Alright guys so that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a quick review um, but I definitely enjoy this filament and I think it is very awesome and I will definitely be making lots more blue hands for those younger boys who have lost their fingers. Um, I also wanted to note I am now sponsored by IC3D up there. Uh, they are a filming company and they do send me filament now um, to build these hands monthly. I've actually just created two arms out of their filament. They've sent me red and black PLA and some black PETG, which I finally got the PETG to actually work on my TiVo Tornado. So everything is great. Uh, so thank you IC3D for sponsoring me 
and supporting me through my adventure and 3D printing these hands. So again, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget, if you're going to buy any TiVo 3D printer that I have reviewed, don't forget to use the link in the description. That is my affiliate link to help me get a little bit of money back once you guys buy those printers to help me build and grow this channel and buy a couple more cool things to use to make these awesome videos. So again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.